any more of a clue as to what this thing is or is not? Still waiting for NASA to release uh, an image, the highest resolution image with 30 kilometers per pixel. Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered if the universe might actually be alive? Well, something amazing just took place. The European Space Agency's brand new telescope, 3i Atlas, has taken pictures that are unlike anything we've ever seen before. They show perfect patterns of light, shapes in space that look like they were planned, and NASA's mysterious silence that no one can explain. What do they want to hide? Stay put, and let's find out the truth together. The machine that sees beyond light. The machine that was there before the quiet wasn't a spaceship looking for planets. It was a telescope made to listen to the universe itself. It was called the 3 i Atlas, which stands for Interstellar Infrared Imaging Array Atlas. It was Europe's answer to NASA's James Webb. Atlas wasn't just made out of competition, though. It was also made so that Europe could see the sky without having to wait for NASA's approval. As part of ESA's Horizon Vision 2035 program, engineers tried to make something that could look into the dark and not blink. This is where physics and desire met. Its mirrors were polished to the level of an atom, and its instruments were cooled so that atoms barely moved. It was the job of every screw and algorithm to cut through the noise of space and catch the smallest flicker of light that the universe had ever let happen. Webb looks through wavelengths that are visible and near infrared. Atlas, on the other hand, looks deeper and divides the darkness into three infrared bands that overlap. Each band sees the same area of space with a slightly different hue of heat. Together, they don't just make a picture, they start a conversation. Atlas doesn't look at light, it just hears it. With this triple array device, the whole universe can be used as a soundboard. One detector hears the heavy, slow hum of cold dust. Another hears the soft mid-tones of stars being formed. And the third hears the sharp, high-frequency whispers from filaments far away. As the three play together, interference patterns are made. These are waves that show shapes that were hiding inside what looked like static. Scientists saw patterns, rhythms and alignments for the first time where they thought chaos should be the norm. Seeing the world as a whole after hearing it as a single note was like waking up to a full symphony. That's not why Atlas was made. It was meant to test a risky idea. The universe might not be chaos after all. It could be structured with an unseen order at work. No one expected the data to be better when it came back. Photon noise went down to half of what Webb saw, and the new compression systems brought out faint features from darkness that was so deep it almost felt like it wasn't allowed. It was like every image had weight, like it meant something. Then there was a whisper that changed everything. Space isn't empty. During the early pictures coming in, the words were quietly passed around mission control. The lines to NASA went dark right after that, though. The regular calls for coordination stopped, Pleas for data were not answered, and the US side was very quiet. ESA kept going on its own, not realizing that the first shots from Atlas had already crossed the line between science and mystery. No telescope had ever seen anything like that before in that first data set. It was in an area marked only as Patch A43. It was a glowing filament that was so perfect and symmetrical that it went against everything cosmology said it knew. The image that broke cosmology. Out of all the bright frames, there was one that stopped everyone in their tracks. Patch A43 was written on it, and it was a normal, deep-field image meant to fill in a data gap. But the room was very quiet when the experts first opened it. The picture showed a thin, long line of light going through a place that should have been empty. When you first looked at it, it seemed like a normal, expected bridge of gas. Then they saw the symmetry, though. When the data was broken down by wavelength, the light split into dozens of bright nodes, each of which pulsed slightly and was perfectly spaced apart. They were not spread out randomly. The lengths between them were regular, like notes on a scale. 
It was like the void itself was keeping time, because each pulse came in with a beat like a clock. Analysts ran models and looked for things like instrumental noise, gravitational lensing, and even bugs in the software. It didn't fit. The distances didn't match any known cosmic process, such as gravity clustering or plasma waves. It was called non-random periodicity, which was three simple words that changed everything scientists thought they knew about the world. Cosmology thought for a long time that big structures came from chaos, where dark energy stretched matter and pulled it together, leaving it messy and out of balance. But this picture showed accuracy. Too many of the nodes were spread out too widely, which is, mathematically speaking, the proportions between them were the same as Fibonacci sequences and golden mean proportions, which are patterns that normally only show up in natural growth patterns and not in the cold space between galaxies. It was like an earthquake when that symmetry hit. This could mean one of two things. Either a brand new physical process was arranging matter over billions of light years, or the universe itself was built with a secret order in mind. For cosmologists who had worked their whole lives looking for chance, it was a bit of a heresy. Within hours, data boards were everywhere. While independent researchers tried to do the same study, ESA servers shook from the load. On the other side of the Atlantic, something even stranger took place. NASA stopped talking. Internal lines for working together that were often busy with shared calibration notes were turned off. Automatic messages took the place of routine replies. The space service that talks to people the most in the world said nothing. Scientists at ESA went from being excited to being nervous. Finding something new should make you happy, but this didn't feel that way. The more they looked at the filament, the more planned it seemed, like the world was showing them a blueprint instead of a picture. In a public report, no one dared to say it out loud but one analyst called it geometry written in starlight. They were alone with a huge, exact thing that wouldn't fit into the known laws of physics. The next picture from ESA was going to be of a part of the sky that everyone thought was empty. But soon, the world would find out that not only was the sky empty, but Sector C9 was about to whisper back. Sector C9 and the ghost in the void. The next target for the Three-Eye Atlas wasn't a star system, a cloud, or even a galaxy next. It wasn't anything. A dark area between two very far away quasars, the kind of empty space that scientists usually don't pay attention to. They named it Sector C9, and it was a control field, a piece of sky that was used to make sure the telescope was set up correctly. However, when Atlas analysed the combined data, the empty space wouldn't stay dark. A slight shimmer appeared across the picture. It was an invisible glow that could only be seen in the very deepest layers of infrared. It wasn't just chatter or background noise, it had a shape to it. As the contrast curves were stretched, delicate arcs and thin angular lines that crossed and bent at small but precise angles showed up. The design was too well thought out to be ignored. When the team first saw it, they thought it might be a processing artifact caused by overlapping images. There were, however, times when cross-checks with extra arrays showed the same forms. The pattern was real, and it was hanging over a spot that should have been empty. It seemed like a web made of light, but not the kind that physics makes. This place was known as the Dark Lattice, Normal galactic filaments bend when pulled by gravity, but this structure went straight for unimaginable lengths, like clean lines through space. Each strand had small changes in density that happened over and over again in harmonic ratios instead of a random way. It seemed like the universe was moving matter along invisible corridors, directing galaxies to form at exact points where these corridors met. There was no model that fit the facts. It wasn't mass or dark matter that set the distance between the lattice lines. It was number patterns that were more common in music than physics. 3 to 5, 5 to 8, and 13 to 21 were ratios that looked like the Fibonacci progression, 
that you can see in sunflowers and seashells. The math that forms life also seemed to shape the fabric of the universe in some way. Analysts at ESA did a huge number of checks by sending raw data to separate devices in South Africa, Chile and the Canary Islands. Every piece of evidence added to the puzzle. There was no illusion behind the lattice. It was a part of the world itself. The finding raised a scary question. Was the universe built on resonance instead of chance? The theoretical effects showed up quickly. There are scientists who think the lattice is a relic of the early universe, a quantum scaffold that was there when space-time first became rigid. In this view, Atlas had caught the ripples of creation that had turned into fossils. These were patterns that had been frozen in light since the beginning of time. Some people offered a more extreme idea, a universal field of coherence, which would be like a rhythm that connected everything through hidden harmonics. While most people were busy, a few went even further. They talked about what they saw as information architecture, which they defined as the universe's visual record of itself, which stores information about its own structure in the same way that neurons store information about what we experience. If that were true, space wouldn't be a stage for matter to act on. It would be the script, the memory, and the awareness all at the same time. One line in leaked meeting notes from Issei offices showed how tense things were. Visible resonance symmetry inconsistent with the CDM model. To put it more simply, the data no longer supported the normal cosmology, which says that the universe is random, expanding, and not caring about anything. The grid wasn't chaos, trying to look like order. It looked like the order was empty when it wasn't. When the results got to NASA's liaison offices, Witnesses said that a number of top astrophysicists quit the briefing in the middle of it. No reasons given. There were no follow-ups, just an abrupt end. And then there was quiet. For experts at ESA, that silence meant something. It wasn't shock or doubt. Yes, it was praise. The harmonic universe. First, it was just a flash in the data. But soon it became clear that something was wrong. A strange pattern, called a pulse, showed up when scientists compared dozens of 3 eye atlas images from different parts of space. The infrared brightness changed in very small steps that were too dim to see with the human eye. These steps happened at the same rate, no matter where the telescope looked. It didn't matter if the picture was of a dense collection of galaxies or an empty space. It looked like every part of the sky was breathing at the same time. At first, the team thought there might be interference, like instrument noise, cosmic rays, or a problem with the cooling system. The pattern didn't act like noise, though. It was steady, played over and over, and perfectly timed. Over and over, the same breaks with the exact same number of seconds between them showed up. The changes showed up as a clean wave on a graph, rising and falling with precise accuracy. It seemed like space itself was moving. No one had ever seen the numbers before they told a story. The pulse had the same frequency over billions of light years, which meant it couldn't have come from a nearby source. It wasn't coming from stars, quasars, or dust between the stars. It was both everywhere and nowhere, a heartbeat that was written into the very fabric of reality. It was long thought that the universe was quiet, but it was keeping time. Engineers at ESA did something risky to learn more about it. The infrared waves were turned into sound by them. Each change in strength was turned into a note, and when the data was played back through speakers, it turned into a deep, layered, and steady hum. It wasn't just noise. Harmony was in it, with overtones and intervals that kept playing over and over like a cosmic melody. It didn't just shine. The heavens sang. The line between measurement and meaning became less clear after this finding. The three-eye atlas didn't just record light. It also recorded motion within the vacuum, which is a coherent vibration that runs through the structure of space-time itself. There was no longer an empty space between galaxies. It was full of beat. It was an ocean of energy where every point resonated with every other point, like waves in an endless pond. Physicists called it 
the structured vacuum. Quantum information theorists joined the talk right away. They suggested that what Atlas saw were organized fields of information, not random changes. Based on the data, it looked like the vacuum could store and send data, like memory that was written in energy density. A secret NASA project called Quantum Coherence in Cosmological Media had looked into the same idea many years before this one. In the 1980s, the study was put on hold because it lost its funding and the results were kept secret. Atlas had now brought it back to life. If these structured fields were real, space-time wouldn't just be a stage for physics to happen. It would be an active player, a living field that thinks in waves. Things like matter, energy, and even awareness may all be different ways of expressing the same basic resonance. The old mystic images, like the music of the spheres and the harmony of creation, stopped sounding poetic. It was possible to measure them. The idea grew on its own outside of the labs. The raw data was turned into music by composers. Painters tried to use color to show the beat. Theologians said it was proof of God's order, but scientists said it was just math and not a miracle. But the more important question, why did the universe pulse, was still unsolved. NASA didn't say anything at all. There was no statement, study, or working together. The group that used to guide people's view of the universe kept quiet while ESA's discovery changed art, philosophy, and science. Some people said NASA was just checking the data, while others thought they already knew. No longer was the pulse just sound. It was geometry forming in motion, which meant that the melody could be seen. The geometric code. Three-Eye Atlas kept its eyes on a faraway cluster when it saw something that couldn't be true. Weak lines of light curled and echoed off each other perfectly around the galaxies. Gravitational lensing should have been a mess, with random warps caused by uneven masses, but these arcs were straight because of golden ratio symmetry. They mirrored each other like waves being led by a hidden hand. It seemed like even gravity could be controlled by music. After that came frame Z17. Analysts saw swirling shapes that kept happening over and over in that picture. Every turn was smaller than the last, but they were all exactly the same, like a spiral in space that folds into itself. The pattern wasn't just seen in galaxies. It was also seen in data from particle simulations. All the way down to the smallest atom, the shape was the same. The universe was fractal, which means that its complexity came from a single rule for making things. Mathematicians mapped the recursion and found equations that were similar to chaos theory and cellular automata, which are types of systems where simple directions can lead to an infinite number of outcomes. At some point, it seemed like existence itself was based on code, a cosmic algorithm that was computing reality one step at a time. So creation wasn't a single blast of energy, but a loop in which the world is always changing. It was hard to understand what it meant if patterns happened in everything from galaxies to neurons, then awareness might not have been an exception, but a continuation. Life could be the universe figuring out its own pattern, with awareness forming wherever the geometry got thick enough to see. It became harder to tell the difference between the observer and the observed. Each thought and atom became just another line in the same pattern. Inside NASA, stories that got out suggested that old James Webb data had the same harmonic ratios. But letting that confirmation go would mean admitting that the laws of physics weren't basic, but rather emergent, written by a higher power. One insider is said to have said, to confirm is to rewrite reality. So there was quiet. There was a loop of light that looked like it was folding back on itself as Atlas turned to do its last scan. Space wasn't going out into nothing. It was going around and around its own home. When the telescope looked at the edges of creation, it saw that they were being bent toward the beginning. The universe is no longer silent. It's speaking in patterns of light and sound. Like, share, and subscribe for more cosmic discoveries 
and don't miss the next video popping up on your screen right now.